Hi guys, this is Heidi with Kiddos Corral, and it's been a little while since I've done a cleaning motivation um, video, and I decided that I'm going to take you along on my journey of my spring cleaning. Now, tomorrow is the first official day of spring. And of course, it's about 67 degrees here today, and it's rainy and <laughs> very gloomy. But we had three or four days of 70 degree weather and very, very sunny, which I totally enjoyed. And it has absolutely inspired me to get started on my spring cleaning. Now, when I was a little girl, I would come home from school and I knew when my mom started spring cleaning because. You could smell the clean before you hit the front door. You could smell the pine saw. You could smell that, the carpet cleaner. You could just smell she had cleaned everything. And my mom, when she spring cleaned, I mean, she, she cleaned from top to bottom everything and behind every nook and cranny. And that's what I like to do too. You know, there is a lot of places in our home that we don't clean on a regular basis. And I realized how badly things need to be cleaned when my son's hamster came up missing the other day. Of course, we did find him. He was behind the refrigerator all nestled. But when I removed the bottom drawer of my stove and I realized the stuff that was collecting underneath there, I decided the first place I want to start with is the kitchen. So what I'm going to do is, is I, today anyways, is to, in, you know, try to, um, to get you to sit down and make a list of everything that you want to get done. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to break down a room a day for the spring cleaning. Because even though you're spring cleaning, you still have to make dinner, you still have to run errands, you still have to care for the house and the laundry and the kids and the husband and all of it in between. So uh, what I do is, is I break, I'm going to break it down into one room a day. So I really feel confident that I can do that in my house. Now, if you have a larger home, you may want to even pare it down even further than that. Now I'm going to start spring cleaning my, I, well, I typed this out and it's a spring cleaning checklist and I have the kitchen. And the first thing I have on here is scrub windows. Now I'm going to tell you, I may not do this exactly in this order, but I want to accomplish each one of these things on the list. Now I'm not going to start doing my spring cleaning um, today, but on <clears throat> Monday, which let's see, tomorrow is the first day of spring. And tomorrow is Friday, so Monday, um, this coming Monday, I am planning to start my spring cleaning. And so um, what I want to do is, is on Monday, you're going to see this video. This is going to be day one to inspire you to get your checklist written and choose a room. And then on Monday, I'll be actually doing my videoing on, you know, me actually spring cleaning my kitchen and I will edit that video and I will tr do my very best to get that out on Tuesday and then there'll be a room shown every day. Hopefully, if I skip a day or something, you know that I had something come up or whatever or I didn't get it edited because I got busy, but I'm going to do my very best to share with you everything that I'm going to be doing that entails spring cleaning. So, um, number two is baseboards, and you know those things get grimy. We might actually wipe them um, monthly, but they always need to be done in my house. My blinds, and to be honest with you, my kitchen blinds need to be replaced so badly. Um, they're kind of one of those iffy things about buying um you know, you wonder, should I upgrade? Should I just get what I already have? Um, and so I'm very undecided on that. The appliances. Now, usually when I do my kitchen uh, cleaning, I take all of the appliances that are on the counters. 
And right now I'm looking at my kitchen and I have two coffee pots. So I have a Keurig, I have a regular coffee pot, I have a KitchenAid mixer, and I have a George Foreman, and I have a crock pot on my counters right now. And I usually take all of those off of the counters and wipe those down thoroughly. Then I do a bleach counter. So um, as you guys know, I have white countertops, which are a complete disaster with three kids. But, um, you know, I bleach those really, really good. And some of you guys may not be a fan of bleach, but it's the only thing that I have found that actually works on these countertops. Cabinet fronts are another thing that do not get done all the time, all the time. I may do a spot wipe, but these need to be scrubbed very thoroughly. Um, my floors, um, oil wood cabinets. I have a special cleaner that I actually use on my cabinets once I get those cleaned with uh, Murphy's Oil Soap. Scrub dog bowls. My dogs are fed in here and I like to soak and scrub all my dogs um, bowls, water bowls, that kind of thing and make sure that they are really good and clean. Clean behind fridge. That is one that is fun. You always find that loose change that rolled. Uh, clean behind and underneath a stove. I did sweep underneath there the other day when I found all that mess, but it probably could use a good bit of soap and water under there. Um, light fixtures. This is something that I get my husband or my son to help me with. Um, they usually bring a ladder in and take the light fixture down and I soak it in vinegar and water and scrub it real good and make sure that there is nothing yucky in there. There's nothing worse than looking up at your ceiling and seeing cobwebs inside of a light fixture. Um, tables and chairs. Hopefully I'm showing you guys this with my camera. Uh, tables and chairs. I like to do a thorough wipe down and if it's a really nice day, a lot of times I'll take my chairs out back and use my hose and some Murphy's oil soap and give them a good uh, scrub down with a good scrub brush and just make sure that there is no gunk in any of the crevices of the chairs. The trash can is one thing that um, needs to be cleaned. I probably really need to buy me a new one, but um, I usually just make sure there is nothing inside the trash can. And then I will soak up, pour some pine saw or bleach in there and take it outside. And I'll run some hose water in there and I'll let that sit for a good 10 15 minutes. And then I'll rinse it out real good and then scrub down the outside of it. And I have a good white trash can again. Um, wipe and wash all wall hangings. I have quite a bit of stuff hanging in here on the walls. I'm actually contemplating getting rid of the copper pans. Um, I have a very hard time uh, keeping the copper uh, pans that I have on the walls, even though I absolutely love them. Um, to me, they uh, grunge up very, very easily, and I don't like things that make my kitchen look dirtier than it is. And then we have wash curtains and iron and hang those up. Um, every time I spring clean, I always take the curtains down and I run them through a quick wash. I get the ironing board and iron out and I um, press those and I rehang those up and then everything is nice and tidy and clean. Now, I do not have anything on here about wiping any insides of the cabinets down because my husband and I just recontact papered all of the inside of the cabinets. However, even though it's not on the list, I'll probably do a quick tidy up on like the silverware drawers um, and just kind of do a little bit of a wipe down inside of those. But you guys will see because I'm going to take you along on my journey. Anyways, I hope this inspires you guys to make a checklist. Um, this is the first one and this is for my kitchen. And then I'll probably um, do my kitchen and go to the living room, then the hallway, which won't take long. So I'll probably do hallways and both bathrooms the same day because they're small. 
and then I have three bedrooms so there's Dylan's room my room and John and Lucas's room and then I have the laundry room so yeah so that should um, cover my week and what I'm going to be doing so I hope you guys are doing well uh, stay motivated and I will be seeing you again soon to get cracking on that spring cleaning bye